So it's just that you have the powers that be that says, let's send them to this thing called school. And with school, it's a fake ecosystem, you're right. Name me how anything in school relates to anything outside of school, like real life, it doesn't. It's a forced game, but people don't see it as a forced game, so you go there, but the whole thing is to train people to think, believe, act, exactly the way you want to. So it's, it's really books, schools, everything, and then you gotta get a good grade on it, so you gotta study exactly what they want you to believe. That's all it's for, because we already know that you don't get a good career out of it. I got my degree, I got my piece of paper, I get a job, and what do they do? You're gonna, okay, now we're gonna put you through training. So you learn everything you needed for that job in three to four weeks. So, tell, so what about the last 17 years? What was that? It was, it was society, it was indoctrination. It was the powers that be saying, this is what I want people to believe. This is, this is the, the, the values they need to believe. This is the dogma they need to believe. School is indoctrinating and telling, they're t telling you what to think and what to do, but, and they don't allow any outside the box thinking because then you're wrong, so we're gonna give you bad grades. And then you go through all this schooling and you, you're, you believe everything you say, Everything they say, you get the good grade, now you leave, you go to college, you get your degree, and then you go work for a job. And then when you get the job, you don't walk in. And say, they don't say, yeah, there's your desk. All right, cool, you're good. No, they say, okay, listen, we're gonna put you through training. How long's training? Ah, eh, three, three to four weeks. So in three to four weeks, after 17 years of school, then that person with their degree in three to four weeks learns the trade. So what about all that college? Well, that's great, they worked in numbers, they worked in numbers but they, did, they weren't really trained on what exactly they needed to do to make money until they got to the job. And they, in those three to four weeks was the only, that, so, so three to four weeks could have took any sixth grader three to four weeks to learn how to do an accounting job. But you had to jump through all the hoops to get the piece of the paper. Because that's it, I ask anybody, I, I tell you right now, Woody and I didn't learn anything in school. We went to different doctors and, and apprenticed them and learned. I had a good buddy of mine, he's, you know, Dr. Martino. Like he knew how to practice, but he came here, he came here. He observed my office for maybe two weeks and learned how to do the, my entire practice and he's killing it. So my office, the most successful top in the world in the profession, I could teach anybody in one week how to run it. One. So all that school, three and a half years of school, great. You come to my office, I could teach you in one to two weeks confidently how to run a successful business. So it proves that even when you do get the education, you still gotta learn how to actually do your job. Isn't that suck? So you get a four year degree, or another four years for doctorate, you do all that stuff, then you gotta go and learn it when you get hired. P people, you're taught something and no one questions it. At all. And that's not right, like, and, but you get in real life, people question things all the time. Well, like this, well explain that to me. Or, like, so we go to school thinking that everything is in 100% good and truth, right? The government wants the best for me. The medical doctor wants the best for me. School would only have the, so it's this beautiful, we have nothing but love at 100% truth. It's, it's perfect just for you, trust us. And then this false trust, we receive everything as faith, we don't question it. And then um, you live the comfortable, tormented life. That's what happens, right? Because the majority of people walking around and most everything they learned was from school. And then when you see someone doing amazing things, like an entrepreneur or something like that, you're like, wow, how'd they learn all that from experience? And they come up with bright, unique ideas. That's just the way things are. I'm just asking people, like, don't even believe what I'm saying. Don't, don't, that's it, you shouldn't believe what I'm saying. Just question it. Think about it, use your brain. There's nothing wrong with that. You're not sinning by questioning. You're not disrupting. But you have the right to question. You're, you're your own human being. You're, you're your own self. So you need to be able to question it.